All right, so here we're going to graph the exponential function 4 times 2 to the x. This does take the form a times b to the x, where a is the start amount, and then the b, the base, tells us whether it's like a doubling, tripling, or like a halving style graph there. So in this case here, a 2 takes the place of the b, so I know I'm going to be doubling, and then the 4 takes the place of the a, so there's our start amount. So here we go. We start at 4, and then the next point over, we're going to double it. 4 goes to 8. If that was a 3, it'd be a tripling. In that case, we would go up to a 12 for that point there. So here we're going to graph 5 times 1 half to the x. This is an exponential function, so the 5 takes the place of the a, so that's going to be our start amount. And since we have a 1 half for the base, that means we're going to have a halving function. So here we go. We start at 5, and the next point over is going to be half as much, 2.5. Go ahead and check out these other videos if you haven't seen them yet. They're also on exponents.